our first probability formula, the addition rule. And this really makes sense if we think about Venn diagrams. So if I draw a quick Venn diagram here, and here is probability of A, and in blue, I've got a circle for B. What this is saying is I want to find the probability of A or B, right? And we're going to make a highlighter here. Let me grab a new pen. This color, that looks pretty. Let's make it a little bit thicker. All right. So if I want to find the probability of A or B, and I take the probability of A, so that's all of this one. Then I add the probability of B, that's all of this one. You'll notice that section in the middle gets darker because you've added it twice. And that section there in the middle, right here, is A and B. So we can find the probability of A or B if we take A, if we know that probability, and add it to the probability of B. That's close to having A or B, but you've counted the middle section twice. So then you have to subtract that part out. So the Venn diagram really helps us understand where this formula comes from. So here's our first example. A card is drawn from an ordinary pack of 52 cards. Find the probability that the card is a heart or a king. So we want to find the probability of a heart or a king. So if we think about the formula, the formula says we should figure out the probability of getting a heart, plus figure out the probability of getting a king, and then subtract when those both happen. Now a lot of probability questions you can just think about it, especially because the numbers here aren't that big. You sort of say, well, I have 13 hearts and I have four kings, but one of those kings, as you can see from the Venn diagram, is the king of hearts. So I'm going to have 13 plus 4 is 17 minus the 1, 16. Or some people think of it, well, I'll take all my hearts, that's 13 of them, how many more kings are there in the deck that I need to add to that? There's only three more, and you get 16 that way as well. Now, from the formula, it would say I have 13 out of 52 are hearts, plus 4 out of the 52 are kings, minus 1 out of the 52 because that is the king of hearts, and my chances are 16 out of 52 8 out of 26, so 4 out of 52. So for this one, you'd probably be able to think through it, but it's nice to see how the formula would work. rolling one dice, so your dice has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I think this is a very typical one where you could just figure it out in your head, but we'll look at how the formula would work as well. So what is the probability that the number is larger than 3 or it is even when you roll it? So if you just look at the ones there, larger than 3 would include 4, 5, and 6. Evens would include 2, 4, and 6. So if you could get one or the other, your probability is going to be probability of greater than 3 or even will be 4 to 6. Now, if you use the formula, 
the formula would say I need to figure out the probability of greater than 3 plus the probability of even and then subtract the probability of it being greater than 3 and even. Well, how many are greater than 3? Three? 3 out of the 6. How many are even? 3 out of the 6. How, many, how much do we have as an overlap? We can see with the green and the red there. Minus 2 out of 6. And we get 4 out of 6 or 2 thirds that way as well.